Abu Dhabi is a city of magnificent places. It has more tradition to it than the sparkling city of Dubai, which is why it exudes a unique charm and elegance. And now the exciting news is that it is about to get even more impressive. Abu Dhabi is adding a museum to its already amazing collection. But not just any museum. The Zayed National Museum. It is set to be one of a kind, a place where you can explore treasures from around the world. Before we unveil the wonders of the Zayed National Museum, hit subscribe to stay ahead of the curve on the most extraordinary project shaping our world. At the dawn of this new century, the UAE decided it needed yet another memorial to honour the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahal. He was the founding father and first president of the UAE. He was a remarkable leader whose legacy shaped the nation. While many memorials already exist, they felt that no number of tributes could ever be enough to celebrate his contributions. This is when they decided to build a spectacular museum in Abu Dhabi and they decided to name it Zayed National Museum. They handed this huge project to Foster and Partners, the world-renowned architects who are known for their iconic designs like the London's Gherkin and Apple Park in California. Yes, they are that good. All right, so they had the designers. But even if the structure were complete, what would they display? Sure, the UAE has its own artifacts, but in true UAE style, they wanted something bigger and better. So in 2009, they signed a 10-year contract with the British Museum. This meant the British Museum would help with curating and even lend about 500 of its treasures to the Zaid National Museum. But, as with all big projects, there were delays. It was supposed to be ready by 2012, then 2013, but nope more delays. The contract with the British Museum ended in 2019 without the museum even being open. Then in June 2018 they announced a new partnership with the British Museum. In July 2019 they brought in Dr Peter McGee, who is a remarkable archaeologist as the director. They aimed to open in 2021, but as expected there was another delay but sometimes it's good to have patience. Given the kind of masterpiece they are creating, a little wait is worth it. Let's take a look at the design and see what all the fuss is about. Most people don't know this, but Sheikh Zahid bin Sultan Al Nahan had a deep love for falconry. He loved the art and tradition of hunting with falcons, which is a practice that is deeply rooted in Emirati culture. In fact, he was often seen with his falcons, and stories of his incredible falconry skills are still told today. One story goes that he once trained a falcon to hunt and return with prey from miles away. His passion for falconry symbolised his connection to his heritage and nature. So, when it came to designing a museum in his honour, it made perfect sense to use this passion as inspiration. Fosters and partners know how to make a statement. And the Zaid National Museum is a statement all right. They drew inspiration from his beloved falcons. On the outside of the museum, you will see five solar thermal towers shaped like falcon wings. The main building itself looks like a 30 meter tall mound, which is inspired by the UAE's landscape. Out of this mound, the steel wings rise reaching heights between 83 and 123 meters. Now, Abu Dhabi is hot. Like, its temperature can reach over 40 degrees Celsius in summer. That's over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Sure, they have all the money in the world to blast the AC and keep the inside cool, but that wouldn't be very inspiring, would it? Instead, they came up with a creative and eco-friendly solution they turned those falcon wings into chimneys. You see, the heat at the top of the towers will help draw air up through the museum using the thermal stack effect. Air vents at the top of the wings will use negative pressure to pull hot air out, while fresh air is drawn in through ground cooling pipes 
and released into the lobby. This is the perfect use of smart design to tackle Abu Dhabi's scorching heat. Inside the museum centers around a large atrium. This has to be lit. Here, once again, the architects came up with a creative solution. Using the above unique structure of the wings, the place will be lit with indirect sunlight so it will be bright but not too hot. On the upper floor, there will be four pod-shaped galleries, each forming the base of a wing. It is the perfect setup, natural light for visibility and a clever design to keep things cool. Now, what's there to see inside this amazing building? Let's check out the exhibits. You already know that 500 exhibits are coming from the British Museum. But that's just the beginning. The Zayed National Museum has so many amazing things of its own that will represent the rich history and culture of the UAE. For example, this fossil of a rudus clam, which is an ancient marine creature that existed some 70 million years ago. Imagine seeing something that old. Then the evidence of the region's first humans is on display here. This evidence dates back 300,000 years. These early inhabitants left behind some amazing artifacts, like Paleolithic stone tools. These tools will give you a glimpse into the ingenuity and resourcefulness of those ancient people. You'll also get to see ancient coins on display here. These were the first coins ever used in this land, which were made during the 3rd century. These coins have beautiful inscriptions in Aramaic on them, mentioning the ruler's name, Abiel. They were the coins used by the people of that century to trade with the rest of Arabia. In this amazing museum, you will also get to see artifacts from the 15th century. This century was the time of Jalfar, a center of maritime trade that linked Africa, China and the Mediterranean. This era was home to Ahmed bin Majid, who was an Arab navigator. Artifacts from this period will be on display telling the stories of the vibrant trade that once thrived here. After the 15th century, you'll get to see exhibits from 1500 to 1700. It was the era of the Bani Yas, which was one of the largest tribal groups that made their appearance in historical records. They led the foundations for the nation's capital, Abu Dhabi. Then we have the 1700 to 1900 era, when the al Jawahasim became a dominant maritime and economic power in what is now Ras Halma and Sharjah. Their influence and achievements will be displayed here through various artifacts. And now for an unusual relic in the long history of Abu Dhabi a famous 18-metre longboat from around 4,000 years ago. This ancient boat once sailed the Arabian Gulf and connected communities to far-off places like Mesopotamia and South Asia. The best part is the museum decided to rebuild this boat and recreate its historic voyage. This project started in 2021 when researchers from NYU Abu Dhabi and Zahid University decided to travel in this boat and find out more about its history. The boat set sail from Sadia Island, escorted by the UAE Coast Guard. It covered 50 nautical miles. But is the structure of this boat historically accurate? Absolutely! The construction techniques were based on ancient documents found in Iraq. After its amazing expedition, this amazing boat was preserved and it will be on display when the museum opens. Now this museum is not the only incredible thing you will get to see in Abu Dhabi. It is actually part of a bigger project. The Zayed National Museum will be located in the heart of the Sariat Cultural District, which is a hub of art, history and culture. This district is already home to some incredible institutions. First, we have the Louvre Abu Dhabi, which is only the first universal museum in the Arab world. This place has art and artifacts from around the globe. And not just the historic things, the artifacts are from ancient times to the modern day. The museum was opened in 2017 
and since then it has welcomed 5 million visitors. All of them were captivated by its diverse collection and stunning architecture. Next in Sariat Cultural District is Manarat Al Sariat. It is a cultural centre that hosts a variety of art exhibitions, performances and workshops. It offers visitors a chance to engage with art in all its forms. Now, coming soon to the district is the Natural History Museum Abu Dhabi. This museum will feature a research and teaching institution and it has promised to take visitors on a 13.8 billion year journey through the story of our universe and our planet. People will visit for an educational and awe-inspiring experience. Another exciting addition will be the Guggenheim Abu Dhabi. It is going to be a museum dedicated to celebrating art from the 1960s to the present. And now, adding to this incredible lineup is the Zayed National Museum, which is scheduled to open in 2025. It will further enrich the cultural landscape of Sariat Island, and it will be another jewel in the crown of Abu Dhabi's cultural scene. Would you like to visit this museum next year? Let me know in the comments below. Before you go, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.